I was shocked. I mean, I knew he had been sick, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. I thought he'd at least be around a little bit longer. So it was a pretty big shock. What about his legacy? I think he will leave behind a really great legacy. He kept the players so disciplined and he really knew what he wanted in this franchise and I think with his fa some of his family still behind that's still in prominent roles in the organization to keep going what he had wanted so much. I think he'll leave behind a really good legacy. Well, you know, I know that he has been sick for a long time, so um, I'm not surprised from that point of view, but uh, you know, it's just it's sad. I, I love Joe Semmer. You know, I'm a big time Yankee fan, been a Yankee fan all my life, you know, growing up in the Bronx, you know, and uh, he always made sure he went out and got the best player available. I love that people talk about, you know, he bought him buying a team, you know, um, but we got to see our favorite team in the playoffs every year, so I love him for it. But he was great. And I'm sorry to hear that. He was also a great man. I was very shocked. I know he's been ill, and unfortunately, he had a good life, and he's did, he's done a lot for baseball um, by bringing the Yankees back to what they were in the uh, 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, and 60s. Uh, it's a very big loss because uh, he had ideas and things uh, probably his sons will never think of. I also feel his humanitarian aspect of his life was great too. That a lot of people don't know what he did for charities and for people who couldn't afford to go to college. And a lot of other things he's done that nobody knows because he keeps it to himself because he wants it that way. To me he was a great man for baseball and a great humanitarian. Uh, I see a giant loss. Well, I mean, he, he was like the backbone to the Yankees and whatnot. No matter if his son's in charge, it's like he made things happen for the Yankees as well as for the fans. So he was a strong boss. So he did what he had to do to win the championship. So, I mean, it's a touchy feeling, but we'll move on. The championships, um, how he established the Yankees, because he bought the team for $10 million. And now it's worth a billion dollars. So, I mean, his grandchildren have someone you know, when they get older. So, you know, he leaving the, the team is to the, to the fans. That's who the team belongs to. So, it's our team, you know. They own it, but we, you know, it's our team. It's a donation to, to New York City.